Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at fetching data using HTTP in an Ionic and Angular application. And so this is a video I've done before, uh, quite a while ago I think, when Ionic 2 was around. And this is going to mostly be the same video, uh, except of course it's going to be updated for the current version of Ionic and Angular. So what I'm going to do basically is I have up some data from Reddit uh, in the browser here. And so I want to show you how to load data in uh, in a JSON format, either from a remote server, uh, some kind of API, or from a local file in your application. So we're going to do both of those things uh, in this example. So you can see here in the URL bar, I'm just uh, on the Reddit website, uh, I'm just grabbing some JSON data from the GIFs uh, subreddit. So this is just an API that they provide, and you can use this to grab data from different subreddits. Uh, but the same concept applies to any sort of API that provides a JSON response, really. Uh, the basic idea is that you hit some URL and it's going to return some JSON data, which you want to pull into your application. And so you can fetch data in that way by hitting a URL and grabbing that data, but you can also uh, grab that same data just locally as well. So I've also set up just in my local assets here, I have a Reddit data.json file. And this is basically the same kind of data uh, as the Reddit API provides. I've just copy and pasted it into a static file here. So this means rather than having to hit a remote server on the internet to load the data, you can just load it uh, locally. So you might use these two different approaches in different circumstances. If you just have some static data that you wanna load into your application and you wanna use this format, you might just create a local file to store that data. Uh, but if you want to load dynamic data that's changing, you're probably going to be hitting some server to load that in. So in order to be able to fetch this data, we need to use the HTTP client that Angular provides. And I'm just going to quickly walk through setting that up and performing a simple get request, which will allow us to pull in that data. And so before you can use the HTTP client, you will need to set that up in your app.module.ts file. So this will make the HTTP client available throughout your application. So what we need to do is import HTTP client module, and we can get that from uh, the Angular package in common forward slash HTTP. And when that's imported, you just need to set it up on your imports here. You can see we've added HTTP client module to the imports under ng module. And this means we're going to be able to make use of the HTTP client anywhere in our application now. So what I've done here is I've just set up a data service that we're going to use to launch these requests and then we'll interact with that from just a homepage, it doesn't really matter. And in order to use the HTTP client in uh, this service, we just import HTTP client and we get that from forward slash common forward slash HTTP. Uh, we inject that into our constructor. I've just injected that as HTTP here. And then that's going to be available as this HTTP uh, throughout this uh, service here. And the HTTP client does provide different methods, but we're just going to focus on get for this uh, tutorial. So you can see I have the two different uh, methods here. I have one for get local data and one for get remote data. And that's just our two different examples that we wanted to walk through. And you can see for the get local data, what we do is run this.http.get. And then we just need to provide the URL that we want to get the data from. And in this case, we're just providing a local uh, local resource URL here that's pointing to that reddit data.json file. So if we just uh, say forward slash assets, that's going to hit this folder here, uh, forward slash data, forward slash reddit data.json. So that's going to grab this file and it's going to load it in uh, as if it were some remote data, uh, but it's just going to use that local file instead. And then for our get remote data method, it's exactly the same thing, except the URL we provide is uh, the remote URL that Reddit provides. So this is going to be uh, live or new data as opposed to this one, which is just the static data that we've copy and pasted into the application. Now this, uh, we are just returning this uh, HTTP.get method call. And this method here will return an observable. And if you aren't familiar with observables, I'll link to another video that explains those uh, in the description. Uh, but basically, if we're returning an observable from these methods, then we need to subscribe to that to get the data that they're returning. 
So what we would do, uh, if we were just using this directly, we would say this.http.get, uh, whatever URL we want to get from, and then we'd say subscribe, and then we'd just pass in the data like this. Uh, but we're not handling that here in this case. So what we're doing instead is we'll just launch that from the home page. So in here we have a home page making a call to these different methods. This is going to return that observable that uh, the HTTP.get method is uh, returning for us. We subscribe to that and then we can do whatever we like with the data that it returns. And in this case, we're just logging it out. So let's just quickly jump over into the browser and take a look at what this actually looks like. Uh, if we go into the console here, you can see uh, I've actually got local data listing out twice. That's because I forgot to change the uh, log statement there. So I'll just change it to remote data. We'll let that refresh. Okay, so you can see we have local data and remote data now. So we have these two separate calls returning two uh, separate sets of data. And if we just expand this, you can see all the data that's returned from that local JSON file. And it's just all the data that was provided in that JSON string. Uh, that's just been converted into a JavaScript object here. And you'll see that this matches up with, if we open the Reddit data, uh, all this stuff now is provided in this object. And this is a rather complicated object because that's just what the Reddit API is uh, providing. But if you drill down into things, you'll find all the various URLs and data that uh, you're interested in. And just to quickly take a look at the remote data, and it's the same thing. Uh, we pretty much have uh, identical set of data in the same format at least. This is obviously different data because we're getting it live from Reddit. Uh, but you can see that it doesn't really matter whether you're pulling it in locally or from a remote API, the same basic format applies here. So that's the basics of grabbing data with HTTP requests in an Ionic and Angular application. And really this isn't really anything to do with uh, Ionic even. This is just um, Angular specific here really. Uh, there is more things that we could cover around this and I'll probably do some additional videos uh, to cover methods like using uh, maps and filters uh, with observables, which could help us sort out uh, this big chunk of data here, which isn't heaps useful in this format. Uh, but hopefully this video helped clear up uh, how a get request works exactly in an Ionic and Angular application. If you did enjoy this video, please uh, do feel free to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you in the next video.